Well, from my point of view, the one theme that almost every single cancer has is genetic instability. So that's the commonality. The problem is there are so many different types of genetic instability. And so we need to learn about those. And because there's so much genetic instability, what we find is cancers have tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of different mutations, most of which aren't causing a problem. So the trick for the, for the geneticist is figuring out which mutations matter, which ones to guide your therapy or which ones to guide your diagnosis with, and which ones are what we call passenger mutations, and so on. So, uh, and, and the other thing about genetic instability is there's sort of a sweet spot for genetic instability in cancer. You have to have genetic instability for the cancer to evolve to a nastier and nastier form. Each time a cancer gets worse, each time it starts to grow more, each time it takes on a new trait like metastasis or whatever, involves some sort of genetic change, genetic instability. And uh, so you need a certain level of genetic instability. The key is if you get too much genetic instability, the cell dies. And that's where we can start to take advantage of genetic instability. What we want is to take these cancers that already have the meter pushed over a little bit towards genetic instability and hit them either with radiation or genotoxic compounds or an inhibitor to some other DNA repair pathway that will kick them over to the point where they actually die because they have too much genetic instability while not touching the cells that didn't have that original uh, genetic instability defect. Wow. <laughs>